Beloved, you're welcome to our page. Here we talk basically about God, beautiful things He created, like herbs and all the natural things which we can use spiritually for the benefit of mankind. But we are not limited to that, as we could also decide to diversify as the case may be. Today, I will be teaching you a great revelation of secrets that will make people begin to ask you, that how did that good thing begin to happen in your life? I will be teaching you this great revelational secret that will put an end to every calamity, bondage, affliction, challenges, difficulties, tears, yokes, and what have you, sickness. I will be teaching you this because there is a very strong spiritual time when so many things happen on this planet earth there is only one time that ends every day and at the same time begins another day and that time is 12 a.m every day ends at 12 and at the same time 12 a.m begins another day and that is how powerful that timing is in the realm of the spirit that's why the children of god should utilize that R for good, even if the evil ones choose to use that R for negative things. All you need to do is wake up at 11.30 p.m. Do your praise and worship. Do your prayer of thanksgiving. Do your prayer of mercy. After that, begin to present your petition before the Most High God. It doesn't matter how long you have been carrying that burden. It doesn't matter how long you have been suffering from that sickness. It doesn't matter what the doctor has told you. It doesn't matter what your belief concerning that situation is. All you are seeing at that time is Jesus who has the power to do, to undo, and to redo. So as you keep pointing and presenting your petition before the Most High God, you tell God that as this day is ending, you speak into your life, into that situation, that let every power responsible for what you are going through end with that day in the unfailing name of Jesus. You just keep speaking it. Keep saying those things that you don't want to see anymore in your life and family. You just keep saying it. Keep speaking it to God. Keep presenting it before the Most High God. But in all this, you have to be very, very time conscious so that you would not exceed the time, 11.59 p.m. So that as soon as it's 12 a.m., your pattern of prayer will change because a new day is starting. So as soon as it is 12 a.m., you begin to thank God. You begin to present your petitions. I tell people that the best pattern of prayer requests is like the Bible says in the book of Philippians 4 um, verses um, 6, that would prayer and thanksgiving make your petition known with thanksgiving make your petition known before god so you begin to say father lord i thank you because i know that i am beginning to enjoy a good health father lord i thank you because i know that this sickness is gone lord i thank you because i know that i am beginning to enjoy a new financial freedom lord i thank you because i know that things are beginning to change for me i am already i have gotten that job lord i thank you because i know that that tears has ended in my life lord i thank you because i know that those yokes are broken you begin to thank god for all those things you have brought in petition to him before 12 a.m. You begin to thank him that you know that they are beginning to happen for good in your life. And as soon as you finish doing that, you do your closing prayer and you go to bed. Do this for seven uninterrupted days. You could back it up with fasting and prayer for those of you that can carry prayer and fasting but if you cannot do fasting because of perhaps an underlying health condition you could leave it 
then after your seventh day prayer the last day continue this pattern of prayer until the seventh day on the seventh day look for something very reasonable in form of a sacrifice it could be money it could be gift it could be whatsoever as you're closing that prayer reach out to somebody and give it out to the person and believe that God has answered your prayers and as you do this you will see the hands of God mightily in that difficult situation mm -hmm. and because you have done this does not mean you should go and relax I tell people that after a spiritual exercise or assignment continue doing it consecutively you could choose to be doing it every month yes you could choose to be doing it every month because you shouldn't relax when it comes to prayer because those wicked people that are after the lives of the children of God do not relent they throw an arrow and they keep throwing more and more arrows into the life of the children of God and when they see that we have jumped and passed they will start thinking of another way to keep attacking the children of God they don't rest so why would you want to rest when it comes to prayer so continue to carry out your spiritual assignment from time to time and as you do it the Most High God would grant you an unusual testimony. He would make that difficulty to become a thing of testimony for you. I pray for you today that you will never be disappointed in this race of life. I also pray for you that may you never be stranded in this journey of life. May God give you a testimony that will cause debates between in the midst of the hearers of that testimony in the unfailing name of the most high god i have prayed for you amen may god bless you until i come your way next time